Ugh. Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Tim. I'm gonna be showing you a cool little thing today. It is how to calculate in your head the day of the week um, for any year. It's kind of geeky. Most people are easily impressed by it. But keep in mind, it does keep the women away. It's not to be used as a pickup line. Uh, and <clears throat> I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. I have some notes I'm going to show you. Um, there's a few things you're going to have to memorize, but it's not that bad. Anyway, it goes like this. We'll do an example. And with this example, you'll learn exactly how to do it. Step by step. Okay. Which, what day of the week is this? I don't fucking know. No one fucking knows. We were about to find out. Actually, I do know because I made this, but... Anyway. Most people don't know. Okay, so... Step one. You're going to be using... Uh, you want to find something called the, the century code. And you can see how it it's either zero, six, four, or two, and it repeats itself going backwards in increments of two. So it's just a simple pattern that, that the years follow. And you can easily find this. So the century code for the century of, what, 2000? I'm probably naming that wrong. Anyway, it would just be six. See, six. Simple. Now we do some math. Yay. Um, now, using the same example, this is a step two. You want to find the year code, okay? Again, we're, we're just like going down century, year month, day, uh, it's all systematic, so, when it says calculate your code uh, for 2015, you have to know a couple things, uh, there's two mathematical operators used here that you probably know if you've done computer science, but you most likely don't know because they're goddamn useless. Um, one is called mod, M-O-D, and uh, one is called div, D-I-V, and if you do, they work like this, mod, okay, say you do 20 mod 7, the 7 means that, the mod 7 means that I just take away as many multiples of 7 from 20 as I can. So, 20 mod 7 would be, you got it, YouTube, it would be 6. Not that hard. Uh, when it says div 4, all you do is, uh, it's kind of the opposite. You do, say you did 20 div 4, you would have, you would say, okay, how many times does, does 4 go into 20 without going over? So, it would be five. Simple. Now you know some things. Okay, we're moving. Um, so, in this one, to find the year code, which we're gonna use later on, you do take the last two digits of the year that you're working with, uh, and you do those plus the century code, mod seven, so 15 plus 6 is 21 mod 7, 0. It goes away. Sweet. Uh, then I need plus 15 div 4. Uh, and so 15 div 4 would be, come on YouTube, you can get this. Yes, it would be 3. 
4 times 3 is 12. If you put one more 4 in, you'd have 16. And that's above 15. And 15 doesn't like that. Wouldn't be happy with that if I found out. Okay, so now we have the, uh, we have step 2 done. The monotony uh, continues. We have a find the month code. And to do that, that's just something you have to memorize, which is a pain in the ass, YouTube. I can help you out with that. Let me just see how much time left I have in the video. Okay, I can make it. I think. Okay, YouTube. Hold on to your asses. Okay, you can just use like mnemonic devices. There are a couple down. Okay? You have to know these. Okay? So for January, uh, it's going to be one. Think about it this way January is the first month of the year. And December is going to be six, and that's the last month of the year. Uh, and they only go between one and six. So there's January and December. Uh, November, I'm sorry, I'll go in order. Uh, February is going to be four. Uh, February, you can kind of make it sound like fab. What is that, the Fab Four? There, what's that TV show called? Anyway, yeah, you got it, Fab Four. It's stupid, but you're, it's gonna help you. You're gonna be like, damn it, I can't believe I'm thinking this. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, then we have uh, March, uh, uh, which is also for. I don't know, just like make up a story, be like, okay, I'm in a parade and I'm tired and I don't want to walk anymore. Uh, let me just down this four pack of Red Bull, which is like eight bucks by the way, fuck that. Okay, anyway, uh, May is two, um, like, I don't know, when you were in school and you said, hey, may I use the, uh, the bathroom? You walk down the hallway, there's only two usually, male or female. It's gonna help, so shut up. Um, what else do we got here? Uh, we got June is five. Imagine like you're holding, like balancing like five spoons like on your fingers. And you have five fingers. Well, most of us. Uh, July is zero. zero. Uh, how can you do that? Oh yeah. Imagine you're making like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in your all out of jelly, which kind of sounds like July. All out would mean none, zero. Oh man, that's a peanut butter sandwich. You would have that. Masochists. Uh, then we have August. This is three. I don't know, think of, isn't there like a legendary thing like that three headed dog? I forgot what it's called. Um, in August, you think like, what's that phrase, like dog days, so there you go, you got the connection. Uh, September 6th, sept, I think means six in some language, so that, that might help you. Um, October is one, uh, let's see, uh, what the hell, okay, this is stupid, uh, October, to October, tub. Tub. If you have a house and it has a bathtub, there's usually only one bathtub. Unless you're some kind of freaky millionaire. There's two bathtubs. November is four. Uh, I think this is one's not bad. Think of a stovetop. Stovetop. You know, no stove, stovetop. Okay. There's usually four places where you can put like pots. Uh, December 6th, uh, last month. Okay, let me check the time. This ends part one. In part two, I'm going to show you how to finish. Okay, thank you, YouTube. Thank you.